Let's go read. Hey guys, it's Katie and welcome to another video and in today's video I'm going to be filming a, another November book haul. I feel like it's quite good to do these kind of weekly, however I am not going to buy any more books for the rest of the month because I need to start saving. I went to the dentist today and it cost like 56, nearly £57 just to have a filling done and I am done as far as like spending money goes like this month. So I'm literally just going to be saving for the rest of the month so this might be the like last book haul of November I'm going to try and do my best just to not spend any more I need to see like how much my credit card bill is at the moment but I need to start saving because we are like house hunting um, next week so the first book that I'm going to show you I'm very very excited to read pretty soon I'm actually planning on starting this next week and this is The Becoming of Noah Shaw and this is by Michelle Hodkin now I've read the trilogy as you all know and I freaking loved it I did a review on the third book which I'll link down below in the description if you want to check it out and it was just I really liked it and the last book got like a few mixed reviews but I was like one of the people that loved it so I'm very very excited about this one although I'm also hearing mixed thoughts on this book so this is solely based around Noah the character Noah um, who I love. So this is book one that is in the Shaw Confessions trilogy, so this is the first book. Um, but I'm very very excited to give this a read and a review for myself um, just to see like what I think about it because I just love and adore this series. Um, so yeah, I honestly can't wait. These next few books I got whilst I was in Waterstones in Bournemouth. I know it was quite bad. Um, and the first book is The Marked Girl by Lindsay Klingel. I don't know. I've probably booked that completely. But this I haven't even heard of before. But it sounds really good. It's actually an American copy. So this is like what it looks like. So really really cool like how it's designed i love like american book copies and this is the baby bag and it's lovely uh, but i was reading the back of this book and it sounds really really good but it's a fantasy tale so now i've read a fantasy i'm like hey i might be reading some more fantasy soon so this is about cedric who's the crown prince of calem and his royal friends including his betrothed cat that's another reason why i picked this book up they found themselves stranded in a modern day LA via a magical portal and that's all I read pretty much on it and I was just like that sounds pretty good and interesting so I'm really looking forward to that I I'm loving this colour it's so so like I'm, I just love that little sunset going on it's so so pretty so pretty this next book I just had to get because I freaking love this series like so much and I am completely in awe like how many years it's been but this is The City of Bones by Cassandra Clare it's the 10th anniversary edition so this is what it looks like and it's the, the UK one so it's kind of silvery and it's got this really sort of old-fashioned feel this is what the spine looks like right here which is so beautiful and even on the back and the back just says all the stories are true so this was only 15 pounds so i and look look at this art on the inside so that was worth just getting and it's also on the back as well so there's little artwork inside which is pretty cool um, so yeah, this is the 10th anniversary edition and there's even more artwork and guys, guys, I got this book signed! Look, it's Cassandra Clare's official signature! I'm so happy it's signed! She's one of my favourite authors, like one of my favourite, favourite authors. I just, I love this series so, so much. So I'm just gonna flick open to the other special bits on the inside. So here we go, some more artwork. We've got Simon Lewis right here. And then we got Isabel Lightwood right here. Then we got Jace Wayland, who you saw a bigger picture on the back. And then we got Magnus Bain. And then we've got a bit more. We've got Alec Lightwood. Here's this one here. And then we've got Clary Fairchild, which is this one here. Oh, it's just, it's so beautiful. And it has like, 
this really interesting map which the other paperbacks I believe don't have um, and it sort of tells you like in graphic form what the buildings look like so you've got St Xavier's you've got the Hunter's Moon which is the little little Chinese cafe that they go into the entrance to the fairy court uh, Luke's Pax headquarters and so on and so forth and the Institute even like right here there's so much like packed into this and then there's like this big map here as well but that is so so interesting and there's a little forward in the front as well um, uh, which looks like a soldier player has really something but yeah and obviously it's the first book well there's these little illustrations above the chapters I don't think they're there in the um, actual book so that's quite an exciting addition as well I'll just see if there's anything like snazzy at the back because sometimes there is ah we have official clave files so we've got uh, a clay file here, uh, Alexandra Lightwood, Church, Clarissa Fairchild's file, Hodge Starkweather, Isabel Lightwood, Jonathan Morgenstern, Jace, Jocelyn Fairchild, Lucien Graymark, Magnus Bain, Maurice Lightwood, uh, Raphael, love Raphael so much, Robert Lightwood. Simon Lewis, Valentine Morganson. So yes, all the files on them. What an amazing addition to have. This is so, so cool. I'm really happy to have it. And it's signed as well, guys. I'm I'm just, I'm so happy with this. I'm so happy. This next book that I picked up is Undercover Princess by Connie Glynn. And this, I think it's the first book that's in the Rosewood Chronicles. I'm not entirely sure, but I've just been seeing a lot of people reading this at the moment. Um, and then all I did was just read this bit on the back here which is, says all I've ever wanted is to not be a princess and then I end up getting roomed with a girl who's obsessed with them and I thought it just sounds like quite amusing at the same time so this is what it looks like on the inside it's kind of starry and purpley and you've got a nice little purple undercover as well um, so yeah that's all I literally read about it <gasps> This book is signed! Look! Signed by the author! Oh, that's even better! Oh! Oh my god! What a treasure! I'm really, really excited to give this book a read. And the last book that is in this book haul, I was looking at, it's nearly just come out, and also one of the Waterstones, like, booksellers, people like they came over and was like I was about to tell you you need to buy this and I was like don't worry I am because it does sound really good now this is um, Artemis by Andy Ware he wrote The Martian and this is no way a sequel it's a completely new and different story so before you think any of that it's not it's just it's a brand new story and I've been told it's really really good it's really sort of like quite smart but like not in a silly way um, and yeah it's based in space and I really really enjoy books that are based in space so I'm just gonna see if there's anything snazzy underneath <gasps> that is cool look at that they're jumping on the moon oh that's pretty cool that is really cool and it goes all the way around the back as well that is a really cool see this is why I like showing the underneath because sometimes they do surprise you and I actually haven't looked at that myself um, now I haven't read Martian yet but I do plan to <laughs> that's all I know um, I have to get in the right mood for things like science fiction in space so just like with fantasy um, so yeah when I'm in the mood for a good old sci-fi I would definitely be reading The Martian as well as Artemis but based on the recommendation that she gave me I was like hmm it does sound pretty pretty good and I feel like if I'm ever to set my face in that shop again I feel like I need to read this before I next go in there so there we go before next month I've got to get this read at least <laughs> So there you have it guys, that is the end of this book haul. Like I say, it may or may not be the last one of this month, obviously, because I don't know if any books and publishers are going to come in the mail, like unsolicited or requests or whatever. Um, but as far as purchasing, I don't really want to purchase any for the rest of the month. Like, 
because of saving I need to start saving now um, and my credit card is starting to get a bit high um, so I'm going to be good I think for the rest of the month to the best of my ability and the next time well we should see the next time we'll see you all it'll either be end of the month or it'll either be next month so I'm not entirely sure how it's going to go um, but thank you very much for watching my video as always guys it honestly means well give me a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it and if you haven't done already please do subscribe down below I post videos like all the time there's also a notification bell that you can click on down below and that will notify you anytime that I've uploaded a video um, it's always like really cute to see like when people have said like I've pushed that notification and your face comes up and it's just like Whoa! and things like that just honestly make my day um, and your comments or make my day as well so let me know down below if there's any of these books I've mentioned that you've read or that sound like right up your street that sort of thing and let me know what you've purchased recently as well I always love talking about books but thank you very much for watching my videos always keep smiling keep reading and be happy my name is Katie and I'll see all of you wonderful awesome people in my next video bye